Welcome to the second in this series um, on publishing a game style game to the Windows Store. Today I'm going to talk about signing and testing a game style game on Windows 8. Again, my name is Ryan Joy and I'm a develop developer evangelist with Microsoft. You can follow me on Twitter at ATXRyan or username uh, or find me on the game style forums under username ATXRyan. Okay, so if you've watched my first installment, you know that I created my app on my MacBook Pro and I went through the game style publishing process um, on my Mac. So that they've now generated my app and I'm gonna go and grab it from within Windows 8. Now I'm running from a, um, I'm running on, on my actual Windows 8 laptop. Now I could also uh, test this under Parallels or VMware's Fusion or VirtualBox, anywhere I can have Windows 8 run in a virtualized environment on my Mac as well. All right, so now I'm gonna to go to my portfolio, grab that game. Okay, so I'm gonna download my project. downloaded now let's go ahead and extract this uh, zip file to to somewhere on my machine I'm just going to go ahead and leave this under my download folder and let's look at what we get so first we have this AppX upload this is the actual upload file we would take and go and take directly to the store now you do not need to sign your application before you take it directly to the store. You only need to sign your application if you're going to install it or sideload it onto a machine in order to test. Obviously I recommend that you do test your, machine, your, uh, your games, but you do not need to sign them before you actually upload them to the store. Uh, now in this underscore test folder, you'll see here that we have this AppX, which is our actual game. Um, and then we have this PowerShell script that would install our game uh, onto, onto this Windows 8 machine. Now what we don't have in this folder is a certificate in order to properly sign our application. And that's what we'll go ahead and create right now. Now you can find the Game Salad App Signer tool under the downloads on the creator page. So go to gamesalad.com slash creator. If you go to download, no I don't want to download the creator tool again. And then we have, you, you'll see under the um, hero image here, you'll see this uh, Win8 App Signer. So I'll go ahead and click that. I'll go ahead and save it. And again, that goes in my downloads folder. I will extract here. Downloads is fine for this tutorial. And now I have this App, app Signer tool. So now what I can do is I can go in and I can run this EXE App Signer and I'm going to navigate to the AppX package uh, for, the, for the game that I just downloaded. So if I go to downloads here, underscore test, and then I'm going to the actual AppX, not the AppX upload. Choose that. Now here, this publisher ID, this needs to match the same publisher ID in which, with which we generated the app package. And if you recall, you input that within your um, back. You inputted that as part of your generating uh, process uh, within the Game Salad web publishing flow. So down here for our Windows, Windows 8 store packaging settings, we have this publisher ID. So I'll go ahead and take this and go back over to my publisher ID and then put that in. Now the last field for this app signer is the key name. Uh, you don't need to put anything here, but I would recommend, you know, this is just going to be the name of our certificate that it's going to generate. Um, I like to change the name to the, to the name of the game. So this is called Cannon Fodder. Uh, no spaces. And now I'll click Sign App. Now it's going to open up a command shell, and it's going to then ask if uh, we want to create a private key. For the purposes of this, of these tests, we don't actually need to create a key, so I'll just click None. Then it's going to bring up this protected PC thing, um, which I can click on more info, 
and I can say run anyway. And there we go. You see we have uh, one file successfully signed, zero warnings, zero errors. Um, we are good to go. So I'll press any key to continue and we're done. Now, whenever I go to my folder, you can see I have this cannon fodder certificate dot CER. And now if I were to um, right click on this and say run with, right click on the PowerShell script that says add app dev package, I can say run with PowerShell. This is going to open up a PowerShell command prompt and it's going to ask if I actually want to install this certificate. Um, remember, this is the certificate I just generated, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter to continue. Click yes to any security warnings. Now here I will say run once for the PowerShell script. Do I want to install the certificate? Yes or no? Yes. Now it's successfully installed the certificate and now it's installing the actual app package. Now my app package was successfully installed. I can press enter to continue. And now my app is actually on the machine. If I go to my start screen, you'll see that if I go all the way over to the right hand side, here's my Canon fodder app. And I can launch this and test it and it'll work just fine. So that's good. I feel confident that this is a good game that it'll get in the store and everything's been tested. And now that it's actually installed the machine, I can do one more thing. If you install the Visual Studio uh, Express tools, one of the things you'll get is the Windows App Certification Kit. So I can click this and choose to run it. And this will run through a battery of automated tests and check for things that um, that can cause you to lose time whenever you submit your app for review. Uh, these are things like if you were to forget to change out the default image for a logo or if there were performance issues. Uh, so I definitely recommend you run the Windows App Certification Kit. And I can say Validate Windows Store App. And this is grabbing um, essentially all of the installed apps on my on my system. Uh, this in a few minutes, this will come up with a a list, and I can choose my Canon fodder app uh, from those list of of applications. Here we have the Windows app certification kit has come back with all of the apps that are installed on my machine that I can validate. So if I scroll down, you'll see here I have the Canon fodder. Uh, this is the one that I actually just installed. This was an earlier one, so I'll do this one with my publisher information. And I say next. And what this is going to do is this is now going to run through a battery of tests to, uh, again, certify my app. I'm not going to make you suffer through watching this uh, certify, but I will recommend that you run these tests yourself. Assuming everything comes back from the Windows certification kit, um, uh, you can get a green green arrow for green arrow for everything. Then the next thing you can do is actually go back to your store account and continue uh, walking through the store submission process and upload your your AppX upload. And that is again this file here uh, from the generated game salad uh, app. One more call out here. Um, you can also, once you have this signed certificate, you can also use this to side to sideload onto a, another device such as a Surface. Uh, if you go to my website, ryanjoy.com, you will find a article on sideloading a Windows 8 app onto a Surface. And it's pretty much the same process that you saw me walk through um, to, to sideload it onto this Windows 8 laptop. Um, except you're going to take it onto a zip disk and insert it into your service device. So if you go down here, you can skip the first part and you can go straight to sideload onto the Microsoft Surface and walk through these steps in order to uh, test it on a, on a Surface, which is an ARM-based chipset. So hopefully this has been very helpful. Uh, the next installment, I'm going to move back to my MacBook Pro and I'll take that same uh, generated app package and I'll go ahead and upload directly to the, to the Windows Store. Uh, thank you.